the final three to nothing. The story in this one, this man right here, Joey Decord, 35 save shutouts. Joey, 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 Joey. Joey. That's I mean, amazing. That's got to be the coolest oh, story, Liam. Exactly. But you Enjoyed just on set, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is the coolest thing that's ever happened in my whole life, and uh, couldn't be grateful, uh, more grateful for you guys. You guys were unbelievable today. Thank you guys so much, and uh, glad we got a huge win for you guys. It's been a, a wild ride for you. Um, four years in the NHL, you played 19 games, then you get 23 games this season, but you're a big part of this run that this team is on right now. What does this feel like? And I know... The ad adulation here is great, but in that first period, you make a save, and this place erupts. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's hard to describe, um, you know, the, the support that I've gotten so far this year. And, um, you know, it's pretty cool at, at Climate Pledge when I get the Joey chance, but this was something else. Uh, you know, four or five times more people here, and um, it was amazing. And, um, you know, in regard to the run we've been on, I think you can just – you just look at the way we played today. They, they really made my life easy. The boys did unbelievable. Um, some amazing sticks and, and big blocks and just selling out for the team. And, um, you know, this run we've been on as a group has been awesome. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's a collective effort from all of us. Uh, you've dealt with your fair share of adversity through your career. I was actually talking with your ASU coach, Greg Powers. He said your first ever start in college, I think you got shelled for nine goals in your first two periods at Notre Dame. And he came up to you and he said, you know, do you want to be pulled? And you said, F no. <laughs> and that's just kind of the mentality you have. And then, obviously, two years later, you lead ASU to their first ever tournament uh, tournament bid. And, and, I mean, just talk about the, the, the entire time through ASU and what you've dealt with in your career and what has gotten you to this point. Well, uh, Coach Powers has never exaggerated in his life, so uh, <laughs> that's a bang-on story. Um, <laughs> no, I was nine in the whole game, not just the first Oh, okay, period. sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah, they went uh, three for seven on five-on-three power plays, so okay. it was a tough one. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I just think about, you know, uh, the journey that it's, that it's been for myself and um, all of the incredible people that it's taken for me to get here. I mean, um, you know, it truly takes a village of people. Um, and. You know, I'm so grateful I was able to share today with, you know, my family, my girlfriend, um, her family, all my best friends are here from home. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm so excited to go see them right now. And, um, you know, all the amazing coaches and people and um, teammates that I've had and mentors. And um, I'm just so grateful for the opportunity to be here playing in the NHL. This is um, the most amazing, special thing um, you could ever dream of. And um, when I was a kid, all I wanted to do was play in the NHL. And, I mean, there's no bigger stage than this. And, um, you know, I'm pretty emotional right now. Is Absolutely amazing today. It's awesome. Right. Joey, unbelievable game today. Unbelievable game. Fans here in Seattle love you. The goalie mask is so unique to each individual goaltender. You have yours here on set with us today. Can you kind of walk us through what you have on here and why it's so special to you? Well, I'm a huge sports fan. Um, I grew up a Boston kid, and obviously uh, sports in Boston's huge. And, um, you know, definitely uh, adopted the... Uh, the uh, Seattle sports teams as well now and um, I thought no better opportunity um, than to put some Mariners you know uh, themed stuff on here I've been playing at T-Mobile Park and um, you know I've come to a bunch of games and I'm a big fan of this team here as well and um, you know got some of the guys the baseball cards on here we got JP Crawford, Cal Raleigh, J-Rod um, you know great players and um, on the other side here we got uh, Ken Griffey and Ichiro and Edgar Martinez so some of the legends and, um, yeah, it's just an uh, awesome opportunity to get to do something, you know, extra fun with my mask. It came out unbelievable. My mask painter did an incredible job. I'm not sure people realize there's a difference between indoor and outdoor, the lighting. Was it a good thing you got to practice in yesterday to get your eyes adjusted to the different kind of lighting that we have here? Absolutely, yeah. Um, yesterday I was just working on pucks above the glass. Honestly, today it was still really tricky. Anything above the white, uh, yeah. above the boards was really hard. And um, I'm thankful there was no sun in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> For maybe some team, or people counting this team out, especially early in the season, the way things started, what do you have to say about the group in that locker room and what you think you guys can do in the second half of the season to ignite this, uh, this fan base back up for maybe another run? Well, I think they're pretty ignited. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. You can work the mic too, folks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah, we, we had a tough start to the year, but I, I felt like, you know, um, across the board, we felt like we were playing pretty good games. And, um, it just wasn't going our way. And now, uh, you know, things have been going our way the last little bit here. We've been playing awesome, and, and that's, you know, credit to the guys in the room and our coaching staff, and um, we've been playing awesome, and it's, it's uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun this year. Joey, 
I'm an upcoming free agent. Sell me on what it's like to be a Seattle crack. I mean, the people here have been unbelievable. We've been here for a couple of days now. It's definitely a hockey crowd. If I'm looking to sign here in Seattle, be a part of the Kraken, give me some of the, the bonuses of playing here in Seattle and what it's like. I mean, the bonuses for sure is just the fan base. That's the biggest thing. Um, they're unbelievable. They're deafeningly loud. <laughs> and, you know, I've been to Seahawks games. I've been to MLS games. I've been to baseball games. Um, you know, you name it, you dub. Um, been to all the games and, and the, the sports fans here are unbelievable and um, you know you won't get supported like this anywhere else. Well if you get a chance tomorrow make sure in your video meeting the coaches put in there Viz fighting the mask. Yes. <laughs> yeah. there's, a, there's a chance he might be arrested before this segment's over so it's be the last we see of Viz. Uh, um, the last time I saw Viz he was uh, walking through our locker room at ASU in between periods to go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know how, I don't know how he pulled that off. It was mid, the only mid, time Viz would be on yeah, campus. Mid, mid game crunch to give you guys a little luck. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I was waiting in between periods. I just see Viz walk through the middle of the locker room. I was like, I did a double take. <laughs> Oh, I have to ask you, because you, you mentioned uh, all the people that it took for you to get to this point. Uh, your father, goalie, goalie coach. Um, what do you think this means for your family? And also, did you have any choice? Was it goalie? Or, or, or did you fight that at all at any point? Um, yeah, I mean, first off, I'm, I'm incredibly fortunate to have such an amazing family. And, um, you know, my dad has been um, my mentor my whole life. And, and he's been, um, you know, he's played an insanely huge role in my, in my whole life and career. And, um, you know, I'm super, super grateful for him and um, all he's that all he's contributed to my life and my career. And, you know, I, it just kind of brings into perspective, um, you know, how special it all is. And just to have him here tonight, and, um, you know, we'll never forget to, uh, today. That's awesome. Well, he can help you carry this out because you are the first ever winner. All right. Um, Joey, TNT, Joey, Joey, Coco Joey, Cup, Joey, the Joey. Winter Classic MVP. You playing outside, eat some hot cocoa, and you get the trophy right here, MVP. Do I get some cocoa? Where is it? <laughs> Please, go make me some. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting pigeon tossed. Oh, man. But He's making a run for Mr. TNT yeah, now as I well. Know. Jeez, put is. him at the top of the list, eh? <laughs> Jesus. Can you join us the rest of the broadcast? <laughs> <laughs> Shut my mic off. <laughs> well, Joey, listen, man, we really appreciate it. Congrats yeah. again. Round awesome of clicks. Congratulations. Yeah. Round of clicks yeah. for Joey. Let's hear it one more time. Joey DeCourt. Thank you guys so much. What a special moment.